Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. I'm back with another video review. This time, it's a DVD. And the reason I'm doing a DVD is because it's a very special DVD. It's the 25th anniversary of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it was, oh, released, I think, a couple of years ago. It was a TV movie that they'd made called Turtles Forever. And here it is. And I didn't even know about this until... Well, about a month or so ago, and I, I stumbled across it on the internet, and I watched, ended up watching most of it on YouTube, and then I went out to look for the disc, and I could only find it on DVD, and it's it's by Nickelodeon, because they own the rights now to the Turtles. Here's what it looks like on the back. Now, I got this at Target for $9.99, all right? Uh, inside is very, very basic. Um, there is no inside cover. And it's just a straight DVD. Okay, the menus on this, unfortunately, are extremely basic. It has uh, when you first turn it on, there's a couple commercials for a couple of Nickelodeon shows, and then when you get to the menu, there's play and scene selection. That's it, which is really kind of unfortunate because I would like to have seen some trailers for like the the original. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, maybe commercials for the old cartoon, the CG TMNT movie, or a preview of the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show on Nickelodeon. Something, but there's not. There's zilch, zero, nothing on there, which is extremely unfortunate. Um, but the movie itself, what this is, essentially, you've got the 1987 Turtles, um, that go forward in time and deal with the 2003 version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it's a trans-dimensional jump thing, and it's basically a little storyline that can involve the majority of the, these turtle characters and the, the two prominent cartoon shows. And the Shredder from the 2003 ends up redoing a lot of the Technodrome technology from the old um, 1987 version of the turtles and you know it just they, they kind of team up and all heck breaks loose and you find out and this is one of the things i really liked you find out that there are tons of different universes of teenage mutant ninja turtles and there's a scene that shows images from all of them the eastman and layered comics variations of the comic books um you see the original teenage mutant ninja turtles movie characters there you see the cg tmnt Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you see some of the different cartoons, uh, you also see um, a picture of the turtles from the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles movie, or I'm sorry, TV show on Nickelodeon, so that's kind of interesting. They've obviously been working on it for a few years because you've got the turtles from that show in there two years ago, because I think this came out in 2010, so yeah, so that's kind of interesting, which is not very surprising because it takes them a while to get those kind of shows going. So that was kind of cool. Um, things I like, and I, I, you know, the story actually works really well. It's it's entertaining. It flows through. I initially thought, you know, they made the 80s Turtles a little too hokey and dumb and cheesy. And then I went back and watched some of the cartoons, and it really reminded me. It was a bad bad cartoon and it was kind of at the end of my watching cartoon um years as a kid and it's it's not good at all like the first season the first part of the seasons were really good but when they start to look like this in, in i see i didn't watch it when it got to that point and i mean it's bad it's pretty bad and they kind of hit it on the head unfortunately uh there's some points i think they go a little too overboard with it but they really kind of hit the flavor of it, and it just really kind of reminds you how bad it was. Um, unfortunately, the only original cast member from the 80s cartoon that they got back was Raphael. But they did get all the cast members from the 2003 show, which was very, very cool. And there were some nice homages that you see you go through it. Like when they go back to the 80s dimension, you see um, the, I can't even think of the character's name, where she's in the sweater and she's got the purple glasses, was April's friend. Uh, you see her walking around. You see Bebop and Rocksteady in their human forms walking around. Uh, those kind of things were very cool. You also see in the 2003 universe, um, 
it's Bebop in his human form in that version of the cartoon, and he's got a Bebop t-shirt on, which was kind of cool. Uh, and it was nice that they had the different, totally different animations, and they were different universes, and it was kind of cool the way they, they drug it through and, and took it through, and it's pretty much a 2003-style Turtles cartoon. But uh, the other nice things, nice little homages here and there, like uh, Hun gets turned into a mutant turtle, and he's pretty much Slash, uh, the mutant evil turtle that Bebop and Rocksteady made from the old um, cartoon, and he was in the old comics as well. And he's got an S on his belt, and he's all spiky and that kind of... So he's kind of an homage to that character. And um, It's a shame, actually, they didn't make toys for this because it would have made a really good toy line because you could have just basically reissued a bunch of these toys. Uh, you could have reissued a bunch of these toys and then you could have made some new toys because they made a lot of new mutants in this uh, cartoon and the vehicles and that kind of stuff. And I mean, they really could have just took a lot of the old plastic molds, maybe do some repaint jobs on some of them and ship them out and make some money off of it. I'm surprised they didn't do that. I, I, I just, a, a marketing oversight maybe. But overall, it was really good. The uh, Shredder from the 03, who was way more competent than the 80s cartoon Shredder, decides that he's going to get rid of all the Turtles by going back to Turtle Prime, which is the black and white Eastman and Laird comic book from Mirage Comics, which is really cool because I remember reading those as a kid. And they go back, and those guys are badass. They're hard, they're gritty, they're very Dark Knight Returns-like, kind of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and uh, they gotta go, and, and he, Shredder's gonna wipe them out, so these guys have to go and kind of save them, and, and really kind of stop Shredder and all that kind of jazz. So, it, it really spans all the different genres of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles over the past quarter century, which was fantastic. And at the end of the film, it's really great, Spoiler, so if you don't want to know, stop now if you haven't seen it. Okay, so at the very end, it ends up they're in a an office somewhere, and they're sketching the original Eastman and Laird Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, comic book, and they're talking about how they hope it sells and all that kind of stuff. So it really kind of ties a lot of stuff together. And Peter Laird, I think, was a... Uh, he had a hand in making this, which was really nice. And overall... It's entertaining. It's definitely worth 10 bucks to watch, especially if you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan. Uh, it's, what, 73 minutes, so about an hour or so long. Uh, and it was a great uh, little 25th anniversary thing to do for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, you know, it was kind of nice, kind of fun to put together. It was entertaining, absolutely. And I tell you what, I would love to see uh, uh, an animated movie with the black and white Eastman and Layer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They just did a great job with those guys animated. And I, I've never seen them animated, and they look really, really cool. So and they're very, very hardcore, too, which is, they got a running joke. The 80s turtles say that uh, Raphael here is kind of a hard case. And then when he goes to Turtle Prime and deals with the um, black and white turtles, he calls them a hard case. And there's some other running jokes that go along in the movie. And... Uh, just real good, real funny stuff. If you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, you definitely want to get a hold of this thing. Um, it's cheap. I don't know if it's on Blu-ray. It's um, definitely not much on the disc, which is unfortunate. Like I said, they could have just put a bunch of promotional material from the past 25 years. Toy commercials, uh, ads for the old series cartoon show, ads for the 2003 show, um, the old movie promos, those kind of things, a preview for the new um, show coming out. Of course, they probably didn't have any animation ready when that when this was made. So those are probably, um, you know, pre-production uh, photos that we see in the uh, montage with it. So, but something other than play and scene selection, right? That's about the only downfall I've got to this disc. Other than that, if you're a Turtles fan, this is a must pick up. So there you go, guys. Hope you liked it. Uh, take a look for some other videos. Remember, I've got a contest that's about to end here at the end of the month. I'm giving away free Transformers, free Garbage Pail Kids and Magnets. Um, check my site. It's the featured video. It's free to enter. Just watch the video, follow the rules, and I will ship around the world. So thanks for watching, and you guys have a great week.